Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Ben, and today for Book Trek 2021, we are looking at the autobiography of Catherine Janeway. The history of the captain went further than any had before. Edited by Una McCormick. So for Book Trek 2021, uh, I'm embarked on a five-month mission with some other great booktubers. You can find their information down in the description, um, or you can also follow the hashtag Book Trek 2021 uh, and find other great videos where we are basically exploring Star Trek fiction. Um, we are doing uh, each iteration of Star Trek, at least the first five iterations in production order. Um, in August, it was the original series. In September... Um, the Next Generation, in October, Deep Space Nine, and now we're in, we in November, and we're looking at Voyager, uh, and next month will be Enterprise. So, I had only read one other Voyager novel beforehand, uh, before Book Trek, and I think it was Ghost of a Chance, maybe? And I don't remember caring for it all that much, being too impressed. Uh, <clears throat> I had seen these autobiography books over on Steve Donahue's channel, and he's one of my co-hosts for Book Trek. Um, and I know that he's a big fan of, uh, of Voyager, especially, but these seem really interesting. So, um, of course they are, you know, pretend autobiographies. Um, of course, you know, edited by Una McCormick, she's the one who writes it. Uh, and it's a weird experience with these because it's an autobiography. So it's somebody writing in the past tense about events that happen or will happen, you know, go with it, uh, a couple hundred years into the future. And one of the fun things is seeing, um, like, they, they have photoshopped images in the middle. Um, some of which are done better than others. Um, like, this one's a little bit awkward uh, right there. Um, but some of them are actually pretty good. Like, here's supposed to be, um, you know, uh, Janeway, or when she's a cadet. Um, so you've got Kate Mulgrew, the actress. You know, they've basically photoshopped her into a, a Starfleet uniform. And those sorts of things are, are a lot of fun. Uh, and this is Catherine Janeway, um, taking us through her life, uh, all the way through, uh, Voyager when it was lost in the Delta Quadrant and catching us up and I think maybe, maybe about a decade or so afterwards. Um, I don't remember exactly, uh, time-wise, but, um, it doesn't take us all the way up into present, uh, Star Trek iterations like Picard. So it's before all that. Um. And I had a good time with this. Uh, I read some of it. I did some immersive reading. I did a lot of listening because uh, I got the audiobook of this because I had an inkling. Um, I, I was aware, I think, that Kate Mulgrew did some audiobooks. And when I saw that this was uh, one of the autobiography Star Trek books, I thought, there's, there's a chance that maybe she actually narrated it. And she did. So I bought that and I listened to it. Uh, and so I did some immersive reading, and sometimes I was just listening to her, and it was great to hear um, this autobiography read in Kate Mulgrew's voice. Um, so you're actually just hearing Janeway as well. Uh, and I wasn't sure if that was going to kind of color my understanding or my enjoyment of the book, and I don't think it did. I, th I think that I still have a pretty, um, a, you know, <laughs> uh, objective as much as possible view of a uh, of this book. And I gotta say, I certainly enjoyed the first half. Um, the stuff with um, Janeway growing up and joining Starfleet and some of her first assignments, I thought were really good stuff. Um, I was fascinated by it. Uh, then we get to the point of the book where she is recounting basically what happened to Voyager. And that's where we get several chapters in a row where it does start to feel just like a rehashed summary of the show. Um, you don't get a whole lot of insight into things. It's kind of like a little bit of a, it feels a little bit like a, hey, remember this, remember that. Um, if you've seen those episodes and you already know everything she's talking about. There was one really good aspect of this and that, though. Uh, there's a kind of a controversial episode in um, Voyager uh, that deals with a character called Tuvix, um, where um, her friend and Vulcan... Um, security officer, Tuvok, um, ends up being molded uh, in a transporter of DNA with Neelix. Uh, and these are two, um, I'm trying to remember what 
uh, I'm blanking on, it's been a while since I've actually watched Voyager, so I'm kind of blanking on Neelix's species. Um, but they're as opposite as opposite can be as far as personality goes. But there's this transporter kind of accident where they are actually combined into one being called Tuvix. And Tuvix wants to remain himself. Uh, he doesn't want to be split apart again to make Neelix and Tuvok. And Janeway makes uh, sort of a controversial decision to force Tuvix to separate again into those two things, uh, despite his objections. Um, and they do a pretty good job, I think, of at least, you know, acknowledging the difficulty of that decision, having Janeway uh, really still even wrestling with it years later, wondering if it's the right decision that she made. Um, she kind of goes into the, the, the trolley um, moral dilemma scenario. Um, and I thought that was actually really interesting. And then the, you know, the autobiography goes on and of course Voyager returns home and then she gives us kind of an update into how people are doing within the, you know, a decade or so afterwards. Um, with a couple little interesting twists here and there. And overall, this was, this was fine. Um, you know, it, it didn't blow me away at all. Uh, I think Steve Donahue had said that these books tend to start to feel, um, very much the same one after the other. They all kind of have the same voice, um, you know, uh, of course I, I listened to Kate Mulgrew read this, so it did still seem kind of like Janeway to me. Um, <laughs> so that might have been different if I just read it on my own. Um, but you know, overall I like it. Uh, if you are a big Voyager fan, I think you'll get a lot out of it. I think that whole section where there, she is basically recounting what happened during the show. Um, your mileage will vary on how fondly you remember those episodes and how much you want to return to them. Uh, I do also have a copy of the autobiography of John Luke Picard, and I feel like that section, you know, it's probably going to do the same thing, I'm guessing. I'll probably be way more engaged in that because I'm a bigger Next Generation fan than I am Voyager fan. Uh, so, you know, would I recommend this? Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um... I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's kind of a neat little experiment they're doing, although I do kind of think that they could push it a little bit farther. But um, yeah, so that's the autobiography of Catherine Janeway, the history of the captain who went further than any had before for Book Trek 2021. All right. Thank you, BookTube.